Ever take a shallow sport offshore? Today we are. This X3 boat has never caught fish. It's brand new. We're hoping today we can christen it with some solid fish and rod bending action. Will it happen today? Come along for the ride and find out. The Texas Parks and Wildlife, in conjunction with other associations, actually made this Packery uh, jetty system. It's one of the newest on the Gulf Coast, uh, Texas Gulf Coast, and it enables fish to migrate offshore to spawn. And uh, without these openings to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, they're limited uh, in access to the Gulf. And so it allows lots of nutrients to be brought into the back bays, but enables fish to move through the fish highway and head offshore to spawn and to live sometimes offshore. And in a certain seasons, they come back into the bays. So uh, it's pretty amazing what the Texas Parks and Wildlife does for us. And uh, we pay the price of a fishing hunting license. And we can do a lot in Texas. First shot. She's good. Shrimp, Doug? Shrimp, I'm gonna try them all. See what they like today. Texas Offshore did not disappoint. Right out of the gate, this boat is christened and the day is looking up. That's good start. All experimentation. Oh, good fish. Use that rod to catch him. Got you a bluefish. Well, look at that. Get him in here. You had another one following him. Good fish. This is bluefish. I got another hook here, so I'm gonna to try to control the situation. I'll show you guys this fish. This is a bluefish, good eating, pretty good size one here. Uh, I haven't caught too many of these, but uh, wide open outdoor adventures. Early morning, good stuff. Let's see what we catch next. Oh man, we are. Early morning bite is on. Look at here. This is where you catch your snapper. Look at that. There you go. And there's your snapper. That's a beautiful snapper. State waters of Texas. There's a school of blue runners right out here. Look at that, they're just right on top of the water, just thousands of them. That's just ones you can see. There's an amazing amount you can't see. I'll show you how I rigged two sardines to coax in that bite. I'm curious, what have you found to be most successful for targeting offshore snapper? Comment below with your favorite terminal tackle rig. While Doug's fighting this fish, we'll show you how we're rigged up. We got a heavy weight at the bottom. We got two dropout leaders and we're getting sardines and we're hooking them. The way I'm gonna show you right here is I'm gonna take this sardine and I'll put the hook in him and I'll run it through and I'll put it right back into his body, just like that. And then I drop it down, find the bottom, open the bail, let that line go, but hold that bail open. If you get bit on the way down, you can close it and you can fight. Check hey, Doug out, he's got two snapper on one rig, just like I showed you. This is the way it's done, folks. Awesome, awesome, Doug, good job, good fish. Little circle hook got him right in the mouth. Oh yeah, oh, yeah baby. We got a double, Doug. This is fishing, my friend. What I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh yeah. Rod bending action. <laughs> I thought I was pulling him up. <laughs> he pulled me down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Doing good. Oh, look at yours, man. That's a good one. Nice tape. Woo wee. Oh, Doug and I in state water. Oh, I got some good color. Look at this. What do you got, Doug? It's something big, uh, big and silver. Oh, not a big old Jack Cravel. Jack Cravel, come you on. You never know what you're going to get out here, my friend. Look at that. Not good eating, but fun to fight. State waters. We'll be eating good tonight. All right. This big old jack, they're fantastic shark bait. Yes, it's legal to use them as shark bait. They're not very good at eating, but they're very good shark bait. Whenever you're catching snapper out in deeper water, make sure you get a deflator. And what this does, it deflates the air bladder inside the fish, it makes it where he can swim back down. You take about an inch or so behind that fin, poke it in. What it does is get that air, it comes out back here, and deflates him a little bit. Now he can swim away. It'll be healthy. Quite another day, buddy. Oh yeah, look at him swim. Fish on. Offshore, you don't know what you're gonna get. When the bite is on, the bite is on. Uh -oh, oh, Dave, up? we got two again. A double. Another double. Double. Double, oh, double. Oh, darn. Look at Doug, he's got one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh man, state waters. What can we keep, Doug, four piece? We can keep four piece, uh, 15 inches or greater. In the state of Texas, you can do it any day of the year you want. You got another double. Another double. Another daily double. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh I'm gonna make some headway here. Maybe he'll swim to the surface. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another, another beautiful. Snapper. This is a big fish. <laughs> it's tug of war. And you know what? He's winning. <laughs> Dave, I think you've got the third fish while you had that hung. I've got a big like 200 pound grouper on here. <laughs> you do two at a time, Doug? Again. Again. When All you... right. Look at there. Two keeper snapper in state waters. Whoa, look at that one, Dave. Oh, good fish. Somebody good said fish. there was a shorter snapper. I really don't see it. Oh, nice fish. Up and in. Me and Doug are smoking some awesome snapper. Beautiful fish. In about 75 foot of water. We're using frozen sardines. Rig with a double drop. It's a pretty good size. What a 16 ounce weight on the bottom there, Doug? Eight. Eight ounce weight. Excellent eating right here. I think he's gonna be dinner. State waters. Are you on again, Doug? <laughs> Man, have we found him or what? I <laughs> can't do it but catch a dang fish. <laughs> <laughs> you get a snapper like the one you're about to show everybody. Now these are delicious. That's a perfect eating size right there. It's about 18 inches. Oh, Dave, here we go again. And these snapper, they fight hard. There's another beautiful snapper. He's about 20 inches. Fun to catch. Either one of them is a nice snapper. <laughs> Whoa, Dave. Oh, Whoa, Dave. Doug. Doug's got two up. I got something on. Who's got who, Dave? I think he got you. I think he's got you. <laughs> Me and Doug not only got a double, we got a triple. Out <laughs> of two rods. <laughs> the rod bending action has been awesome on this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. It's red snapper time. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I better fish. Two at a time. You some other fish in the water. Two at a time today on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. Definitely stronger fish or more than one. Let's see what time it is. Time to catch some fish. <laughs> Two at
two wow. at a time. Fix and lose that bottom one. This doesn't happen every day unless you want to come tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Doug and I have caught so many fish, we're in the release section now, so let that air out of his bladder so he can go down. That way we can get the hook out of this good fish. Beautiful red snapper. <laughs> 80 foot of water. 80 foot of water. Oh, yeah, God, it's the better fish. <laughs> Come on, Dave, you can do it. Look at that beautiful fish. <laughs> there must have been two on there because he was heavier than that. Ugh. Got color. I can see him. Shine down the water. Tip of the day, my friends. When you're 10 miles offshore from the Texas coast, you're in federal waters. If you're inside 10 miles, state waters. Today's show, State Red Snapper. <laughs> Dueling banjos? Apparently so. Today was a multi-species kind of day. I know if you're still there watching our shows, you love offshore fishing. Click the video on your screen to see more offshore Texas rod bending action.